Thermi Theron, can you give us some insight on what you want to share to the younger DJs coming up or just DJs in period? Yes, um, there's some advice I would like to give to the younger DJs, especially here in Jersey City. Um, the first uh, form of advice that I would advise DJs to know is know your history. Know your history of DJing. If you're from Jersey City, go back to the mid 70s, 74, 75, and find out who were the DJs that were really doing it. You know, find out what made them stand out from everybody else. What techniques they were using, what type of equipment they were using. You need to know the history. Anything you partake in, you have to know the history of it. Number two, practice, practice, practice. You must practice. Um, as, a, as a youngster coming up in Jersey City, we would practice every single day. It was a routine. Every day we practice, we practice, we practice. We would go from DJ to DJ's house. You know, we would practice, practice, practice. I can't stress that enough. If you're practicing, um, you have to practice as if you're at a club or if you're at a party. You cannot practice and be messing up and then thinking that you're gonna go to a party or a jam and think all of a sudden, magically, you're gonna be on point and it's all gonna be all good. It's not gonna happen like that. You can't pray on it. You have to practice. You have to practice, practice. Um, the third thing that um, the DJs need to know is know your equipment. That's very important. If you're using Serato or a tractor, or if you're still using turntables, uh, know your equipment, know the tricks of, of, of what your equipment can do. You know, um, for an example, um, years ago, we used to come up with very creative tricks with the turntable. Example, um, what we would do, we would, we would get a top that you would use on a regular can, a top like on a, uh, a, a spray top. And then what we would do is we would put a hole in the middle of the top, right? And then we would take a straw, we cut a straw off, stick it inside the top. Then we would take that top with the straw sticking out, we would put it on the turntable, on the pin that holds the record on the platter. We would put that on the turntable. And then on the tone arm, we would take the needle or the cartridge off of the tone arm, turn it upside down. And then what we would do is, we would place the, the needle, we put the record on top of the top, right? And the needle will go underneath it. And when you play the record, the record will play backwards. It will play backwards. So I say that to say you have to know your equipment, uh, come up with creative um, ideas and tricks to do with your equipment. If you're using, like I said, if you're using Serato or Tractor, there's a lot of different techniques and tricks that you can use, but I would advise all upcoming DJs to go back to the basics. Pull them turntables out. Turn that Serato off. Turn that tractor off. You know, pick up the turntables. You know, lift the needle. Notice like lift the needle or drop in the needle. You have to know how to do that. That's the basics of DJing. That's like one, two, three. Mathematics, one, two, three. You have to, you have to do that in order to become thorough in your craft. The next piece of advice that I will give a DJ is that you have to continuously search for new records. That's become, seems like a lost art because nowadays most DJs uh, share record files. You know, they pass off files to each other and most times it's the commercial music. And what you need to do is you have to go to record shows, continuously go to record shows. You know, get your hands in, dig in the crates like we used to do. You know, take the records home. You know, if you have some aunts, relatives, or cousins who might have some records in their closet, your grandmother or your aunts got some records, take those records home. You know, put those records on the turntable. Go to every song on those, on those records, because you never know. That's how we find a lot of break beats. You know, a lot of classic disco breaks off those off those records that's still undiscovered. There's a lot of stuff out there that's still undiscovered. And that's what makes you stand out. What makes you stand out is because you're not like everybody else. That's what made me unique 
when I was DJing a lot was because everybody knew that I had break beats that my pretty name. much a lot of people didn't have, and I had two. So that's my the hands thing hands back then versus now. You had to have two of the same records, you know, and that was very hard because if you found one, now the problem was you had to go find another one somewhere. So that's what made DJs really hot and popular back then. So now in this day and time, it's a little bit different. So you have to come up with your own um, um, creative um, tricks of the trade that will make you stand out and make you unique, you know. And uh, the final piece of advice that I can give is that you have to find out what everybody else is doing and then don't do it. You have to find out what everybody else is doing and don't do it. And that's what make you stand out. You know, on that note, 